My name is Michael Berry, and um, I'm a painter. That's the kind of artist that I am. Uh, I, I live in this area, uh, Zoran Park. I've lived in this area for a long, long time. I paint in oil paint and acrylic paint, but and I and watercolor. I've been I've been painting most of my life since I was about 21. Presently, I'm still painting. I go out door painting. That's plain air painting. Um, so I paint observationally from the landscape or the cityscape. Um, I, I, I uh, paint in my studio. I take those paintings and often uh, change them, modify them, alter them. The studio. I travel a lot and I used to take groups painting and I, I paint, let's say, in Italy or France or Mexico, wherever. Um, and it's fun and interesting and I enjoy it, but it doesn't have the same feeling as painting my own environment where I'm familiar with it, it means something to me. So I started to do a series of paintings about my neighborhood. And um, Sororan Park is where I take a walk almost every day. Um, I've lived around the, I live around the corner. So I see the park. I also play baseball in a league at this diamond. Um, my kids played in this park. My daughter has taken her dog to the dog park. I've watched the park change. So it's, it was an obvious subject to me because it, it was my, it was the, my place to go for a nice walk where there was a big open space. You get these views here, uh, beautiful architecture. I love what they did here aesthetically. I love how I've watched the park grow from it being a dump in 84, 1984, when I first arrived. I think that they've made some very, very um, wise decisions. I love the way they've landscaped it. Um, you know, uh, in the winter, we've got the, the ice rink and so on and so forth. It, 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 it works and people are using it. So, I mean, it, it's, I'm so happy that it's here and it's being used. So, they were, they were a series of paintings of, of just everywhere I walk and commentary about, about um, the changes of the neighborhood, good and bad. It can become too gentrified. This, when I lived, I lived just, this was my laundromat, okay, in this picture here, this painting. And um, so I went there for many years I, when I was living on Ronsterville. And when I made the book, which is a few years ago, this laundromat existed. It doesn't exist anymore. And I write in the book, and this is, there's commentary throughout it. I used this laundromat, laundromat when I lived on Roncesville in the 90s. I could go home between the wash and dry. It was busy then, but the community has changed. More people are homeowners now and have their own machines. When I pass by today, there are very few people inside. What's really important is that, you know, it's a, that somehow the gentrification uh, we can work something out where people with moderate incomes can buy in, get in somehow. I, I've got two failed paintings of the park that I've basically trashed and I should try them again. One is of the facade of the old linseed factory, okay, especially at this light and, and the square in front of it. So there's some issues around height, perspective, and um, more formal problems that I've got to figure out. And the other one that I, wa I want to do more, I've done one or two of this beautiful round pathway, starting from these stones here. Um, so I've got some ideas of composition. <laughs>